we've been asked to graph x times y equals 1. And this doesn't even right now to me seem like a problem that belongs in the lessons on conic sections. Because when I look at this, what I immediately want to do is rewrite it as a y equals 1 over x. And that's just a rational function. In fact, it's one of the first rational functions that a lot of us probably ever graphed. And let's see. The degree of the bottom is larger than the degree of the top, so there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. The bottom is equal to 0 at x equals 0, so there's going to be a vertical asymptote there at x equals 0. And just, we can plot two very quick points. Plug in a 1, get out of 1. Plug in a minus 1, get out of minus 1. And we've seen this reciprocal function probably like 3,000 times in our lives, so we could probably just graph it from there, but if I plugged in a 2, I'd get out of 1 half. Plug out 1 half, I'd get out of 2. Just to make my graph just a little better. And we'd see the same thing on this side, just with a minus 1 half and a minus 2, the opposite signs. And there's the shape of that reciprocal function. But let's see, when I look at that now, I don't know, that looks a lot like a hyperbola. And it turns out it is. This is the only example I want to do this semester of a conic section with a rotated set of axes. Right, in that last video, we kind of promised that if we saw a b times xy term in a conic section, then it was one of our conic sections that had been rotated. So here I see x times y equals 1, and this looks like a hyperbola with a transverse axis that runs on a 45 degree angle through these two points, right? Those closest two points on the two branches of the hyperbola, right, where it goes through those axes, those would be my vertices. So, you know, if I'm thinking hyperbolic things, I could very quickly write down the two vertices I see there. All right, and then, I don't know, I see the asymptotes, right? They're on the axes. And in fact, those asymptotes are kind of special for the hyperbola because they meet at a right angle. And if we think about that, that actually means the values of A and B, if we were thinking about drawing the central rectangle, would have to be the same thing. Well, the center is at the origin, and our distance A is the distance from one, the center to one of my vertices. So that's the value of A right there, and it's an over 1 and an up 1 to get there, which tells me A is the square root of 2. Right in there, that little blue triangle I was thinking about is a 1 by 1, so the Pythagorean theorem would tell me that a has to be root 2. Well, if you believed me that this is a square hyperbola, then b is also root 2. And if I just kind of trace around here, right, I see the rectangle that we're dealing with, right, over 1 and up 1. And then the same thing to get out here, I go over one and up one, and down one and over one. And b really is root two. Well, c squared is a squared plus b squared. And so let's see, c squared here would be four, and c is two. So my foci are on the transverse axis, but two units away from the center. Well, if you thought about just drawing a little circle of radius 2 through there, right, that intersection point is where that focus is. That intersection point is where that focus is. Well, it's also on a circle of radius 2 at a 45 degree angle, and thinking about our unit circle points, right, on the unit circle there at a 45 degree angle, that point is root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. So if I multiply the radius by 2, that point gets shifted out to just being at root 2 over 2, excuse me, root 2, comma, root 2. So there's a focus, root 2, comma, root 2. And there's my other one at minus root 2, comma, root 2. And we found our vertices foci center. We could even calculate an excess intricity. But this was really a hyperbola the whole time. It just has a transverse axis and a conjugate axis that have been turned by 45 degrees. And so sometimes when we see a rational function that can be thought of as a transformation of this graph, it's also a hyperbola.
that's just been turned a little bit. 